Welcome to the newest episode of Luxury Guy Song Phai Chuck. We are now here at SNS Art Gallery, where feature world famous artist Siren Congo, who has been known for his one of a kind graffiti work of art. And today we also have an exclusive interview with Mr. Congo, who will share you about his collaboration and also his famous paintings. So stay tuned for more information. Well, hello, Mr. Congo. It's our honor to have you in this episode of Luxury Guy. <laughs> and um, as we have here the Chanel bag, it marks the collaboration between you and the legendary Carl Lagerfeld. So, would you like to share a little background story about it? Um, yes, Carl contacted me uh, in 2018 to and proposed me to doing the. A collection with uh, with Chanel, the Métier d'Art collection, and uh, the, the runway is supposed to be in uh, in New York at the Met Museum, and and the, and I propose to mix uh, graffiti with uh, with the hieroglyph of uh, ancient Egypt and uh, and the lexic Chanel lexical. So I did a, a series of paintings at the Carl studio in uh, Quai Voltaire. And uh, yeah, and they used the painting to create uh, dress, bags, uh, boots, uh, print, etc. So it was a huge experience to spend uh, time with uh, Mr. Lagarfeld. So the fact it rubbed when they heard about the collaboration between Mr. Congo and Carl Lagerfeld. And you can see this is one of the kind bag that people expect to have in the collection, isn't it? From Chanel to Hermes, the creativity of Mr. Congo is no limit. So you can see in this collection that everything Mr. Congo touch apparently becomes something that is out of this world. You can take a look, closer look at this collection. This one is from the scarf. Mm -hmm. It's from the scarf, and then uh, I did in December the collection of sneakers and uh, uh, shoes, a shoes collection for Hermes on the, uh, December. And, uh, and this really is, is a part of the, the scarf I did with, uh, with the house. But it's the same. You know, it's a really from graffiti, the same part of the scarf, and we, and we decline on the shoes uh, here, and we take the, the focus on the, each plan. Really enjoy to working with them. It's a great, great house. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and in 2021, the Fabric Limited Edition was released, and we can see now that this limited collection is very astounding. And Mr. Congo, can you share a little bit about the process of making this collection? This collection was interesting for me uh, because I, w I work on the laser, on the skin. And uh, we work with uh, the nice house, it's called Pinel and Pinel, Pinel and Pinel. And my friend, Fred Pinel, is the, the owner and the founder of, the, of this brand. Uh, we had a lot of discussion about uh, what we can do together. And uh, we decided to do something fun yeah. because I did uh, I did uh, the bu the Barbie collection. I did it after the the collaboration that we did with Airbus. It was really serious, doing an airplane, etc. Then uh, I, 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 my need was to do something more fun, mm -hmm. more light, but still looking for excellence and. Of course, something we never done before. Mm -hmm. So the the Burbrick is the first time in the world of the Burbrick to get it in laser like this, and then all all is unique. I, I treat I treat all of them really unique. All is painted by my hand, and uh, we did only only 24 set. Yes. One set is eight mm -hmm. colors, and uh, yeah, I will enjoy to do it. It was. Uh, Super fun to, yes, to work with fun. the people from the from the laser. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, um, in my opinion, the gravity effects that he gave into the collection did bring the personality to the fabric collection, and I hope that you see the same. 
Well, and about the collaboration between you and the ACJ, mm -hmm. the ACJ 220 yes. that was painted by you, mm -hmm. and people say that you did bring the emotions of it to the next level. So, what does emotions mean to you? The first, Airbus Corporate Jet asked me to be a part of the project. Mm -hmm. So, I'm on the catalog of the, the ACJ 220, they propose four cabins. Mm -hmm. One is uh, classic, the modern, the contemporary, and the Seville Congo. So I have to answer to these three cabins. What I mean by answer is means I have to do something really special, mm -hmm. really me, yeah. so, and bring the, the emotion and the, 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 the colors, the vibrant, to this cold world, because yeah. The, 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 what is the difference between plane, finally? To, to, to today, when we go uh, maybe uh, 10 kilometers uh, more than another one, when we go more speed than another, what is really few, is yeah. almost the same. So I propose something more arty. I, I, I bring more art on the airplane industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was fun to working with uh, with them because we we have a lot of discussion, a lot of back and forth, and of course I cannot paint straight with painting on the on the plane mm -hmm. because they, you have a lot of security. Oh, yeah. So we have to find a good supplier. We can traduce my work on the carpet, on the furniture. Etc. Etc. So it would, I, I really enjoyed working with the people that are really passionate, they are really precise. That's a huge experience. Yes. So there would be a lot of responsibility to turn a yes. cabin in the aircraft into an art gallery, mm. right? So about another one of a kind work of art that is the Richard Mill mm -hmm. to be on Sierra Congo. So would you tell? Um, our audience a little bit about the process of making the watch? In fact, when we start the project, uh, we didn't know if it's possible to do it. Mm, yes. Because no, nobody did that before, nobody, uh, until, until now, nobody paint a uh, tourbillon movement. That's right. And, and uh, when uh, Richard uh, asked me to, if I'm interested in doing a watch with him, mm -hmm. I said, yes, but I want to do something no one did that before. Mm -hmm. I don't want to paint a bracelet or the case or the dial. It's so, it's so common. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I know that and, and we will make something transparent, skeletal, but you have to paint all the, all the movement. Yes. And you have to work. Yes. So I spent one year to develop the technique and I spent two years in uh, Switzerland mm -hmm. to paint 30 watches. So that was uh, a, huge ex a huge experience to, to, to cross my uh, experience with the, the horology know-how and I met uh, the really passionate people mm -hmm. and uh, I share a lot with the Swiss uh, culture as well. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, it was huge, huge, huge. And I, l I love watch, so I was in the art of the, of the of this work. Yeah, and that's a lot of effort that you put into these um, watches. Yeah, and but you have to go out of your, uh, out of your box. Yeah, and of to, course. And to push the boundaries. So it's, uh, of course, it's never easy, but yeah, so you got one life and you have to do uh, something to push more the, the boundaries, yeah. Yeah, and that's why we call the RM6810 to be on Sierra Congo is one of the kind. So right now we are standing in the exquisite as an art gallery. And Mr. Congo, will you tell which one of these paintings is your most favorite? In this place, I think this one is one of my favorite because it reminds me when I was at uh, Karl Lagerfeld studio mm -hmm. and it's one of the painting I did during the, this time and uh, yeah this the, it was the one of the, my proposal for the Chanel collection mm -hmm. and uh, you can see here uh, the K Carl Congo and uh, the oh Omega 
31 Rue Cambon. Yeah, it's one of, one of my uh, favorite here. Yeah, I can see the horror's eye. Yes, yes, it's the it's because I because I, I use the the hieroglyph. This is the the, the ancient Egypt mm -hmm. uh, vocabularies, and uh, yeah, you can see the end cross, but I mix as well with uh, Chanel. Now. In numerology, one nine one nine seven is is Congo is my name. Yeah, and you can see here it's New York, Paris. It was the because the runway was in New York. Yeah, it's one of it remind me uh, the the time when uh, Mr. Lagerfeld was still alive and uh, and still uh, we we're still talking about uh, about life and uh, art and fashion. Yeah. And that's all the time we have with Mr. Congo today. And on behalf of Luxury Guys Song Phat Chok, we would like to thank you very much for your time. And we do expect a lot of great news from you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So please don't forget to subscribe our channel. We will be back at every Tuesday at 4 p.m. And if you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. Thank you for your time.